First Kings is about the temple King Solomon is building for the Lord. In this chapter, we're given the layout of the temple, the floor plan in modern terminology. We're given specific dimensions of rooms, structural beams, and how everything is joined together. We're even given great details on the finishes and coverings used in the temple. But in verse 7, we're told something unique, something very unusual having to do with the construction site itself. And the temple, when it was being built, was built with stone finished at the quarry so that no hammer or chisel or any iron tool was heard in the temple while it was being built. Imagine a construction site with no noise. It's unheard of. And here's what it meant. Every stone for Solomon's temple was finished before it got to the construction site. By working the stones in the quarry, it allowed for peace and quiet on the temple mount. Why was the quietness important? It certainly seems fitting for the sacredness of the temple but I think it can also apply to the work you and I do for the Lord every day. See, all too often we tend to make a lot of noise over what we're doing for the kingdom. But the Apostle Paul tells us that a quiet and peaceable life is something to be desired. That you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, to work with your own hands as we commanded you. But for some people, Everything is a crisis. They live from one explosion to the next. Drama surrounds every activity and outcome. So perhaps it's the word quiet that exposes the real problem. The lack of quietness in our lives or the lack of simplicity leads to constant upheavals. How do we change all that? If we desire peace and quiet, then we must aspire to a simple life of humble obedience to God's plan. Jesus said it like this, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. It's that simple. 